Hello there, my name is Glenn Monroe and I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in the spy themed newsletter, I want to show you today how to get some, uh, how to hide things in Microsoft Office. We're going to start with Microsoft PowerPoint. So in PowerPoint, I've got these four slides. I've got my title slide, which is my colorful presentation. And you can see I have these other three slides over here. Now, with those there, if I want to run the presentation, and as I click through them, you will see that it goes through the colors and done. And there we go. So that's how it all works. But I may, know, I may want to hide something. Now, there's two ways to hide things. Uh, neither will hide permanently. They'll just hide them from your presentation when you're delivering the presentation. So if you decide to hide something because it's confidential and you email me the presentation, I can get it. I'm not aware of any way to make it truly, truly hidden. There are ways of making it challenge, challenging, but to make it truly hidden is, is difficult. But I'm doing a presentation, and this red slide, I don't want you to see that one because it's not relevant. So I can right-click on the slide and choose to hide the slide. It still shows there, but now you'll see it's paler and red on the side, and it's got the box with the line through it for the image. If I want to hide the yellow one as well, I can go to my Slideshow ribbon and hit the Hide Slide button. So either of those methods do the same thing. Now, with that done, when I run the show, and I click through, here's my opening slide, which is a little bit off screen, but colorful presentation. And then I click on it, and now green. So red and yellow got skipped. That's it. They're still there, but hidden. But again, you can't, anybody can still click on them and see them if they wanted to. That's PowerPoint. I want to go to Word next. In Word, I have this letter here. I've got this text here that I may not want to print. You can hide text as well. So I'm writing this letter on behalf of my boss or on behalf of Joe Smith. So I want to hide this text there, select the text. You can, off your ribbons here you can click any of the dialog box launchers on the home ribbon and this is going to launch the pop-up menu here and I'm going to choose for font to make it hidden and now it's gone. If I go to print it, so let's go to print preview here, it's small to read but I'll tell you it's not there. You can't print it. Let's zoom in. So Print this letter on behalf of Joe Smith. So it's not there if I print it. Let me close that down. If I um, print preview it, same deal, it won't print. But it is there, so later on you could select the text and then go and make it unhidden. Turn that off. There you go. So if you have a note you want to put in there, but you want to send it out and have it come back, um, you could hide things. I'm not sure exactly where you would use this. If you're using this actively now, send me an email at glenn at braindiesel.ca to let me know how you're using it, because it's, it's interesting. I'm just not sure where I would use it. Now, Excel. Here I have my cells here. Now, this is a little bit trickier, because you can hide things, but even then, it's not bulletproof. So here I've got these boxes, these, these cells. So I've got my cost, and I've got my market, which tells my formula and my cell. Now I can hide the columns, but there's ways around that, so I'm going to unhide those. If I decide to make the font white, now it's invisible unless I shade over it where it's, I can see it. The other side of things is if I print it, but it's white font, it'll print in a very soft gray, so that's not really effective. So let's change our font back to our full color. From a formatting standpoint, I can make them invisible. And how I do that is select what you want to make invisible. And under formatting, instead of going to general, I'm going to go to cut, uh, more number formats. And I'm going to choose the custom format, not general. I want semicolon, semicolon, semicolon. And the three semicolons, you'll see, gets rid of it. When I hit OK, they're all now invisible. If I go to print preview that, it's gone. So it won't print. It, it's taken care of that. So it's now invisible, but if I click on the cells in the formula bar, I can still see the formulas. So cost, $5, and so on. Now, so if I want this to be invisible here as well, two steps. Select what I don't, I don't want you to be able to find. I can go to any of the launcher boxes here. And under protection, I'm going to make it be hidden. So this is now hidden from the formula bar only once the document's protected. If I go to review and turn on protect sheet and fancy password you couldn't possibly guess, now when I click on them, visibly there's nothing there and in my formula bar there's nothing there 
whereas these cells will tell me I can see the formula. So this tells me some of B3 to C3, but C3's got nothing in it. I can't see it. B3's got nothing in it. So it's truly invisible at that point. That takes care of the printing side of things and all of that. So that's all great, uh, and because I've protected it, you can't change it. So that's great for all of that. The problem is there's ways around it. Uh, two ways around it would be on this sheet here. I'm going to go make the cell equal to whatever's in that cell there. And then I just have to copy, drag and copy. So it's very easy to bring it back. If I don't know how to do that, I could simply select this here and copy it and paste it over here. Oh, actually, don't, the, the copy and paste method worked, but not for making them hidden. It, it did the formatting, but not the hidden part of it. And these can now be changed. Yeah, I can still change them. So you can make them hard to see by making the, uh, the formatting the three semicolons. You can make them impossible to see in the formula ribbon, but you're just hiding it. Anything that's hidden can be found. I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching. Stay pumped. We'll see you next time. Bye now.